pretty smart, right? Yeah, keep the enthusiasm, kids. I, I know, honestly, I love coming to my job every day. I know you do too, and Kevin. Not the case for everybody out there in the world. A lot of folks, they're in the wrong job. They don't want to be doing it. They want to be doing something else. So if you could be enthusiastic about what you do, that is the key, Kevin. That is it. Find something that you enjoy doing. That's Just the simply key. find something you enjoy doing. I tell you what, what was interesting is that they were able to basically hurt all those kids inside <laughs> on a day like today, right? Yep. It is beautiful. I mean, outside is kind of where you want to be on a day like this on a Tuesday afternoon. Hey, warm today. In fact, close to the warmest day of the year so far. We've got sunny skies out there, temperatures in the low 80s this afternoon. It actually feels sort of like early June. There's a hint of mugginess in the air as well, but it doesn't feel bad at all. I think a lot of folks will take this over what we've had most of the spring so far. Well, get yourself set on what should be a fantastic evening. Again, we're at 83 right now. Temperatures will be slipping back into the 70s for a very warm and again, almost kind of early summerish like type evening. Check these temperatures out. Springboro's at 82, 84 in Hamilton, Sharonville coming in at 86, Loveland's 82, 88 in Kenwood right now, 85 across the Ohio River and Fort Mitchell. So everyone squarely in the 80s this afternoon. And look at that, we've got that southwesterly breeze and that dew point over 60. This is probably about the muggiest it has felt all spring around here, unless we were dealing with showers and storms. So yeah, it does feel a little bit like early June. All right, get used to this weather because it's not going to change much. It is going to stay warm during the afternoons and comfortable at night pretty much all week. The weather pattern unchanged today. You've got this storm system parked off the east coast, the storm track situated to our north, and in between high pressure is wedged in into the Ohio and Tennessee River Valleys, basically protecting us from any incoming weather and allowing us to enjoy that late May sun, thus temperatures are responding quite nicely out there. And it looks like the next couple of days, much like today, will be dry as well. I'm not worried about any rain Thursday, Friday. Now let's talk about the weekend here, because as we get towards the weekend, that area of high pressure begins to break down. That means that thunderstorm chances or at least rain chances will begin to gradually filter back into the forecast right now. I don't think Saturday has much of an impact. There could be some uh, a spotty downpour here or there. I think most of Saturday is dry for most of us. I'm still really eyeing Sunday when we get the cold front into the mix for the better shower and thunderstorm chances. So here's future cast and you can see tonight. I do think late tonight because there's a little bit of humidity in the air. We could have a few areas of patchy fog, but I think partly cloudy skies for your Wednesday. It's dry again, and then as we get into Wednesday night until on into Thursday, it's pretty quiet and Friday looking pretty much the same around here. So as I've been saying, don't expect much day to day change in the overall weather. If anything, I think today tonight a little humid, but then less humid for Wednesday, Thursday and Friday. So mild tonight, maybe a little fog late 63 tomorrow. Another warm one again, 83 for your afternoon high. There's a look at your day planner again, a mild start of the morning with a warm finish in the afternoon. Seven day forecast looking like this again. Saturday is my pick day over the weekend. We've got the stray rain chance in there. We'll continue to keep an eye with all the outdoor events, graduations, concerts and things going on Saturday. But then on Sunday, pretty good likelihood with some showers and storms to close out the weekend. Kevin, thank you. The late Ruth Gator or Ruth Bader.